In times of war, the ancient Greeks would sacrifice sheep, oxen, and many fowl. After consulting the entrails to predict the outcome of their battles, they would burn the carcasses in a conflagration called a hecatomb. In Cheektowaga, New York, we have also witnessed a recent hecatomb, even though we no longer believe in portents. By cover of night during the season when the geese molt and cannot fly, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, at the town supervisor's request, rounded up and crated 106 Canada geese and goslings in Stigelmeyer Park and took them to an out-of-town poultry processor. They offered the carcasses to the food bank to feed the needy, but they needed to be tested first to see if PCBs and heavy metals from local brown fields had contaminated their flesh. Seventeen adult birds and no babies survived. The town did not want the taxpayers who use the park for recreational activities to be bothered by geese on the field or distracting honking. In particular, children with their fragile immune systems risk disease from contact with the offensive droppings. Prior to killing the geese in Stigelmeyer Park, the Cheektowaga authorities slaughtered the deer who were perhaps guarding the playing fields from the onslaught of geese. The geese, like the deer who were slaughtered before them, failed to understand that Stigelmeyer is a residence park. They ignored the many posted signs advising them to remain in the adjoining nature preserve. Relieved that their park is now safe from furry and feathered creatures, Cheektowaga's town fathers are still not satisfied. They are negotiating to raise an entire community, Cedar Grove Heights, of more than 300 single-family homes and 700 apartments. Cedar Grove Heights is a neighborhood with many children, houses that people have lived in for decades and improved along the years, a school, parkland, and residents who do not want to leave. As a homeowner wrote in a July 2, 2005 letter to the Buffalo News, first the town destroys the deer, then the geese, now our homes. What's next?